battery management system BMS consists of control algorithms which help to operate the battery safely and efficiently and one of them being cell balancing. In today's video, let us understand what is BMS cell balancing. A battery pack consists of individual cells and each cell has different capacity and this capacity goes on changing with the increase in charge and discharge cycle. The state of charge of each cell keeps on dropping with the age. So consist, consider a battery pack with individual cells having different state of charge. Cell balancing is the process of equalizing the voltage among individual cells. So after cell balancing, there will be a battery pack with individual cells having almost the same state of charge. Let us understand why cell balancing is needed. Discharging must stop when any cell first runs out of charge though other cells still hold charge. Similarly, charging must stop when any cell reaches its maximum charging voltage. Otherwise, it will lead to thermal runaway and can cause catastrophic failures. The techniques used are passive cell balancing, active cell balancing. Let us understand each one of them. Passive cell balancing. Consider three cells, cell 1, cell 2 and cell 3 with different state of charge. So this is a representative state of charge, 0%, 50% and 100%. Cell 2 consists the least state of charge. So the other cells, that is cell 1, is connected with a resistor and the excess energy is drained. In energy is lost in the form of heat. Similarly, cell 3 energy is drained. So after passive cell balancing, the three cells will have, that is cell 1, cell 2 and cell 3 will have same state of charge as that of cell 2. The pros of this method are simple architecture, cost effective method. The cons of this method are the capacity of pack is limited by weakest cell, that is least state of charge. Pack's energy is spent as heat, inherently wasteful. Due to heat, additional coolant technique is required. Next, active cell balancing. Consider three cells, cell 1, cell 2 and cell 3 with different state of charge. So this is the representative state of charge. Cell 1 consists the highest state of charge and cell 2 consists the least state of charge. So energy is transferred from cell 1 to cell 2 through capacitor or inductor or DC-DC converter. And after active cell balancing, there will be three cells with state of charge equal to that of average of the three cells. So the pros of this method are energy is transferred from one cell to another, so less energy wastage. SOC of pack is equal to average of all individual cell SOC. The cons of this method are complex architecture, additional cost of electronics. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do like, share and subscribe to always. Also press bell icon to get notified.